What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video review on this channel. I'm M. Kwan, peace and blessings to all out there. Now a few weeks ago, I unboxed and gave you my first impressions of this, the Huawei Watch. Now since then, it's given me plenty of time to get to grips with the hardware, the software, just the day-to-day -day use of this smartwatch. So I wanna start off by talking about the hardware because that's fundamentally what separates Android smartwatches from one another. And I have to say, Huawei have done an excellent job on this. To begin with, the hardware is premium through and through. There's attention to details such as the interchangeable um, bands that you can uh, take on and off uh, very easily with this latch mechanism that Huawei have included. It's very, very good. This particular model that I have comes with a genuine leather uh, strap, which is very premium and very comfortable on the wrist. Now talking about on the wrist, this measures in at 42 millimeters in terms of diameter and it has a thickness of about 11.3 millimeters. Now I've got just under seven and a half inch wrists. So on my wrists, it looks and feels quite comfortable. But what I would recommend is to actually try this out before purchasing just to make sure. Now the case is made of cold forward surgical steel. So that means there will be no issues with any corrosion. And it's very interesting that from a design perspective, Huawei have put the uh, crown at the two o'clock position, which is easy to access and it, you know, adds something unique to the smartwatch. Now, in terms of syncing, it's going to sync via uh, uh, Bluetooth um, through Android Wear app on either Android or iOS. Now, I've used this on iOS and to be honest, it wasn't a very uh, nice experience. What I would recommend is to get a Huawei Mate S and to have it synced over via Android. Now, once you sync it over and pair it, it's a pretty standard affair. Uh, this is something that doesn't change really very much between different smartwatches. But something to know, Android Wear has recently got a update, which will now allow you to have further components and customize the components on some of the watch faces. So that's, you know, an added bonus considering you get to see more on the screen. Now, in terms of what powers the Huawei watch, it's got a 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon 400 chip, 500 megabytes of RAM, and then four gigabytes of onboard storage. That means there's no lag on performance, and that's crucial uh, with a smartwatch. You don't want any kind of jittery feeling, and you know, changing watch faces, customizing them, opening apps, asking for uh, Google sort of uh, notifications and, and, and search is flawless with the Huawei watch. Now, there are a couple of things. The first thing is the battery life. The battery life is around about 300 milliamps. It will see you through an entire day, uh, but that's something to be aware of. Finally, there is a heart rate monitor on the back, but something to be aware of is that it's not a continuous heart rate monitor. It's an on-demand monitor. Uh, and there's also no included GPS. Now, considering these factors, considering the price, the design, uh, the brand Huawei, uh, it's definitely worth considering if you're on the market for a smartwatch that runs Android Wear. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, leave your comments down below. And until next time, see you on the channel.